Walking towards the tape, off on racing. In race two, it's the Barwon Racing Maiden Hurl. Close up as they go to jump the first flight. Franciscan Rock, Mercury close towards the inside. Arctic Brazil is also in the firing line with Secret Arches not far off them. As they all clear the first and head to the turn out of the back straight. And we've lost one at the back, in fact, uh, Isla Shoon and seated Philip Enright at the first. As they make the far turn, Philip walking away after the tumble as they head across on the approach to the straight. Moving up to join the leaders is Kada Harla. With close up on the inside, Mercury. Right with them is a fortune out west in the maroon and white colours. Arctic Brazil is close between horses as they make the swing into the straight. Beginning the approach to flight number two, the first of three that will bring them up past the stands. Mercury through on the inside with Arctic Brazil, preceded by the riderless horse. The first of the McManus runners, Kada Harla, towards the near side, tracking them over towards the inner is Barometer. Close up down the outside, Autumn in the Park with a fortune out west. Heading up the straight to the middle flight. Not much to choose between the market principles. Over towards the left is Mercury, Paul Townend, alongside Arctic Brazil, Rachel Blackmore. They show in front of, on the inside, Barometer. And Michael O'Sullivan, alongside that one, is Cotter Harla, Simon Torrens. The red and black colours, near side of Autumn in, the, Autumn in the Park, JJ Slevin. And they're followed over flight number four by Franciscan Rock and Ricky Doyle. A break of a few lengths then to a fortune out west on the inner. James O'Sullivan passed by out of the park, Jordan Gainford, and there followed to the turn by Carla's Big Jim with the red cap to the inside. And alongside that one is Mad for the Crack as they make the turn. That brings them away from the stands. A good run before they reach the first of the flights on the far side, and Arctic Brazil has gone on. Leads from Mercury and Barometer. Close up, Cada Harla. The outside is Autumn in the Park, and they're followed away by Franciscan Rock. With out of the park next, as they make the turn into the back straight behind. Out of the park on the inside is a fortune out west in the jig and sound colours, followed into the back straight by Carla's Big Jim and Mad for the Crack. And behind them, as they continue down the far side, is Bally Sheedy in mid division with the white cap on the outside of Secret Artist as they reach the first flight. In the back straight, Arctic Brazil got in a little close, allowing Mercury to get within half a length of the lead. They're two and a half in front of Barometer. Franciscan Rock is in fourth spot. They're followed on to the middle flight by Autumn in the Park. Behind Autumn in the Park is Cada Harla. Behind them, Carla's Big Jim. As they continue on, they have four flights to jump, one in the back straight and then a long run around the bottom bend into the straight. Arctic Brazil, Mercury, Barometer, Franciscan Rock chasing in fourth. They're followed to this flight by Autumn in the Park in the red and black colours, followed over it by Cada Harla, the outside, Carla's Big Jim. With them is Out of the Park and then a break to a fortune out west. As they head across on the approach to the straight, Arctic Brazil by less than length, Mercury second, Barometer tracks in third, Franciscan Rock pushed along trying to close on the outside. A break of almost three lengths then to Cada Harla up on the outside, of Autumn in the Park, and behind them is Carla's Big Jim. Behind Carla's Big Jim is Out of the Park. Trying to stay on behind them is Give My Love to Rose as they head on. Approaching the third last flight, Arctic Brazil leads Mercury in the centre. Barometer behind them, Franciscan Rock in the yellow and red colours. A break of a few lengths then to Cada Harla as they head on. Towards the second last, and Arctic Brazil out in front. Mercury under pressure second. Franciscan Rock third, Barometer on the inside. Away from the second last, Arctic Brazil got in a little close but leads by three or four. Mercury second, Franciscan Rock third. To the final flight, Arctic Brazil over and clear. Mercury is second, Franciscan Rock third, barometer back and forth, but on the run in, driven out, Arctic Brazil will win handsomely for Henry de Bromhead and Rachel Blackmore. From Mercury second, Franciscan Rock third, barometer in fourth. Delighted to be joined now by Henry de Bromhead. Arctic Brazil has taken our second of the afternoon here. Rachel won last year as well, Henry. And connections have had to be patient with this guy. He missed a couple of engagements earlier on this year. How rewarding was it to see him win there? Yeah, it was lovely. You know, delighted for Peter. Um, uh, 
Yeah, he did it really nicely. He, he's, he's worked really well at home. Uh, Sean Doyle recommended him to us uh, last year after his point to point and um, his work had been really good. And then we were meant to run the point to point bumper and it just didn't work out. And in fair play to Pete, he just he was happy for us just to leave him off. And I'd say that's really stood to him. He's a fine, big horse, uh, gorgeous looking. And um, I remember my wife, Heather, when we saw him at the point to point, I won't use the expletives, but she said, my not quite my god but along those good way. Yeah, yeah she said he's he's the image of sizing john that was her view on him so uh, i i wasn't going to get out of that sale without trying to buy him um so look yeah he's a lovely horse real chaser in the making but nice to see uh, him do what he did there he's got a grade one entry at christmas henry am i right in saying your inclination is not to maybe go straight into yeah, that I, yeah i i don't think so i think it's it's only a couple of weeks away i think uh, we're in no panic but i mean obviously i want to discuss it with pete and see what he'd like to do but uh no i, I don't think we're in a panic with this guy so we'll just bide our time there's plenty of races in january for him is he a horse that you feel though could in time make a grade one horse Ah, oh, look, uh, that's a big. That would be a big statement. He's a horse we like, and he does his work really well. You know, it's nice to, it's nice to confirm on the track what we've been seeing at home. But no, we've a lot of steps to or hoops <laughs> to jump through before then. Yeah, Feet firmly on the ground, Henry. I must ask you about a blue tie. We heard the other day that you did eventually find something to explain the run ahead. Like how much of a relief was that? Yeah, big relief. Uh, it, it, obviously, as we said, it was too bad to be true. His work had been really good. We took bloods from him the Monday before he was to go, and they were perfect. And uh, the Monday after, two days after he ran, uh, one of the readings was uh, sky high off the Richter scale. Showed a sort of bizarre kind of allergic reaction to something uh, the vets think. So we dug a bit deeper, and yeah, so it, it's looking like that. What, we don't know. Um, but between leaving us and coming home, or running, I presume, the way he ran, there was something up there. So we hope that's it. Uh, it looks highly likely. And um, uh, yeah, he seems in mighty form. I saw him this morning. He looks schooled brilliant and he looks great, which was how he was before he went to Haydock. But something must have, certainly on his blood readings within seven days, they were completely different. Yeah. It's great to hear he's back in good form. Is the Savile's chase at Leopard Sound still a possibility? For yeah, I think it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we've still, we've got to run all those checks again before he runs, but he's certainly being geared towards that. Great news. How's the mayor been doing after her race last week? I'm sure she probably had a relatively easy week. Yeah, she has. She's great. Not a bother on her. Um, she seems really well. She ran really well, we felt. Uh, just, you know, maybe things conspired us on against us on the day, but uh, fair play to the other two, and the winner was good, and, and the other one, and, and uh, yeah, we thought she ran well. When you say things conspired against you, what do you mean by that? Ernest? Well, it's probably not even conspired. It just, you know, you just wander two and a half on the, on the heavy ground against that level of horse. Do you know? Uh, you know, they're, they're mid 160 horses, and I think Classical Dreams 163. So probably not conspired no probably just as it got softer i felt uh Tihupu was coming more and more into the race you know after what he did in goran in the red mills and um now i'll always fear every horse but but i felt he was and obviously classical dream is is uh, you know they're both very good horses so yeah i'd say maybe two and a half softer ground and good horses you know and just just caught us on the day. As yeah. I'm sure you're well aware. Everyone's having their say about is she as good as she was, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. What was your feeling about her actual performance? I mean, was it that much below what she's done in that race in the past? I'm not sure it was. You know, I'm not sure it was. But I wouldn't be a great form kind of part. You know, there'd be better people on that. I, I no, I, I thought between the second last and the last, she had it put to bed. You know, and I just wondered did she get found out a bit stamina wise. Um, on the softer ground after that but look who knows you know she's she's brilliant she owes us nothing we're in bonus territory you know it's it's incredible what she's done and uh we've had a lot of fun with her and and i don't think it's finished yet you know we can look at the mare's hurdle as well that's always another option um so uh not a, not foremost in your mind though at this stage i presume is it? oh it would be okay. yeah I, well, well no, sorry foremost would be a strong word it would be They'd be, it would be very much in my mind. Yeah, it would, you know, like, well, my job is to try and find the race I think she can win, mm. you know, so that's what I have to do. Um, now, if, you know, if, if Connections want to that, do something else, I'll wholeheartedly do that as well. So we'll see, we'll see. Look, that's all a long way away. Everybody has to get there. 
but um, Irish champion will be next, though. Yeah, I think absolutely, that. absolutely, and let's see how we go. Um, you know, she's older, and yeah, maybe I, I don't know. I thought I thought she ran really well. Um, obviously disappointed to get beaten, but she's back in one piece. Uh, she's in mighty form, and uh, like I say, it's bonus territory. That's the main thing is that she's in good nick. And Henry, anyway, you've got some lovely horses to run later on today, including in the next year with Hidden Valley Lake. How pleased were you by what you saw from him at Nate? Yeah, I thought he was good. He, he, he's a real stayer, we feel. So look, this three miles around here will always test you. So we'll find out now, um, you know, uh, I, I, that he is, you know, um, but uh, he was good in, in Nace, so we're delighted with that, and um, fine horse, isn't he? Yeah, he's a lovely horse, yeah, Rob Atchison uh, actually uh, wanted to buy him, in fairness, after his point to point, he picked him out, Brian tried not to, but Rob, uh, <laughs> Rob twisted his arm down, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, you know, so, uh, yeah, so it's great, so we'll see now, he's a lovely horse, and look, whatever he does this year, he'll be a real chaser. We're looking forward to seeing him run. Jockeys are in. Henry, better let you go. Thanks so Thank much. Thank you. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.